and setting yourself up to begin practice. Taking the time to land here in the present moment, to let go of whatever else is going on around you or that has happened today prior to showing up here or this week prior to landing here and just trying to be in this present moment. Without judgment, letting everything else go and dedicating yourself to this practice, allowing yourself this hour to just be here and be in this moment. Accepting whatever comes up and not judging, just letting it be. Having gratitude towards yourself for taking the time today to be here, to participate in our practice. Again, landing in a nice tall seated position. If it feels comfortable, closing your eyes if you haven't already done so or just having a gaze downward in front of you, not focusing on anything in particular. And landing in our breath. And to start, let's take a couple breaths to release. So inhaling deeply, filling belly, filling chest through your nose, a brief pause and then opening your mouth and letting everything out with a nice deep exhale. <sighs> nice audible exhale. And we'll do that one two more times. So inhaling through the nose, filling belly, filling chest, pausing at the top, and then opening your mouth, exhale. One more time, inhaling, filling belly, filling chest, nice and tall. Pause, open your mouth and let it out. And now beginning again or to continue with our breath, but now inviting an inhale and an exhale through the nose if that feels comfortable. So inhaling, Filling belly, filling chest, pausing, and then exhaling through your nose. And again, two more times in this way, inhaling, pause, exhaling through the nose. And one more time in this way, inhaling, filling belly, filling chest. Pause and exhale through the nose. And now finding your own breath and your own pace of breath and just allowing that to be and noticing and continuing with the inhale and perhaps allowing for a slight pause in the exhale. And this week I'm going to invite us to again focus on self. So begin by noticing how you feel today in this very moment. Again, just noticing, not judging, not giving a value to, just noticing what's showing up for you here today, being a researcher of your thoughts and feelings. Again, not applying value, just, just noting, taking down that data. And today I'm gonna invite us throughout practice to particularly focus on our self-compassion and working to create space to invite in a little more kindness 
towards ourselves. Recognition that these are challenging times. Things are, are hard right now for many people. And it's been this way for quite a bit of time now. And we've been doing this practice together now for months. And that challenge over time can certainly take its toll on us. But recognizing that this is not an experience that you're in alone. We are in this together and there's this common humanity of going through this challenge together. So seeking awareness of that connection that are, you are not alone in these feelings that can feel challenging, that at times can feel overwhelming, maybe lonely. Knowing that that is part of this common human experience. And finally, trying to allow just for presence in this moment, finding mindfulness. In the midst of everything, allowing yourself this practice today, this moment. Again, not reflecting back to the past, not looking ahead to my, what might be coming in the future, but giving yourself the gift of this moment, this connection with each other and this practice today. So those are our three areas of focus for today's practice. Kindness towards ourselves, recognition of our common humanity and connection, and allowing for mindfulness and connection to the present moment. And we'll check back into those three things throughout the practice. And then above all else, really using today to try to find ways that you can be a little more compassionate to yourself and find that kindness for yourself. And connecting to your breath in a continued way. We'll take two more breaths together and then we'll invite in some movement. So together, taking a nice deep inhale through the nose, filling belly, filling chest, pausing at the top, and then exhaling through the nose. Again, inhaling, filling belly, filling chest, pause, and exhale. And now we will slowly start to invite in movement to our practice. So you can open your eyes or leave them closed for a little longer if that feels comfortable. But now we will connect some movement to the breath. So on our next inhale, we inhale by bringing our arms up to the sky, reaching tall, nice long spine and exhaling to heart center. Again, three more times in this way, inhaling up, reaching tall, exhale, hands to heart center. Inhaling up, nice long spine, exhale, heart center. One more time, inhaling up, reaching tall, exhale, heart center. This time inhaling up, arms reaching tall, and then turning towards your right, coming into our twist. So bringing that left hand to your right knee, right hand grabbing the chair behind you or propping you on your mat behind you. And just coming into your twist and we'll be here for a couple breaths. So as we've done in past weeks, focusing on our inhale on the lifting and extension of the spine. So getting nice and tall on that inhale. And then on the exhale, going further into your twist. So on the exhale, focusing on that twist. And you can keep your head 
forward or if it feels comfortable, you can try looking over that back shoulder. And that just gives a little bit more of a twist. And if that's not comfortable today, then just leave your head facing forward. But again, on your inhale, focusing on lengthening spine. On the exhale, focusing on the twist. And staying here, landing here in your twist, but staying connected to that breath. Continuing to notice your own breath, your inhale and your exhale and making that breath very intentional. If you do nothing else today in this practice, beside breathing, then you have absolutely done everything you need. You've done the most important piece, reconnecting in an intentional way to the breath. And then as you're ready on your next inhale, inhaling the arms back up to the sky. And then we twist to the other direction. So twisting left, right knee to hand to left knee, left hand behind you or grabbing the chair. Inhaling to lengthen and exhale to twist. And if you like, you can bring that your eyes over the back shoulder. Again, staying connected very intentionally to your own breath. Then as you're ready, inhaling those arms up to the sky. Exhaling through heart center and releasing. Just doing some rolls with your shoulders, open them up a bit, one direction and then the other. Maybe inviting in some circles of the wrists one direction and then the other. Just loosening up. And then as we're ready, slowly making our way to our hands and knees in our tabletop position. So coming onto your mat, onto your hands and knees, or if you're in a chair, firmly grounding both feet on the floor and both knees in front of you, hands on knees. Again, we land here and first check ourselves, making sure hands are below shoulders, knees are below hips. And then we come into our cat cows. So on an inhale, we drop our belly and reach forward with our chest. So chest and hips up, belly down, and then on the exhale, opposite direction. So arching the back, chest drops, hips drop. Really feeling that nice arch. And then inhale, dropping the belly. And continuing in that way through cat and cow with your own breath. And your breath can be fast or slow. Maybe you try it both ways and see how the movement feels. And you feel that nice stretch of the spine. And if you want, invite in some other movements. So maybe some curves side to side or some circles or figure eights with the hips. Just playing around, experimenting, noticing how it feels.
maybe forward and back. There's no right or wrong. As long as you continue to breathe and stay connected to that breath. And again, be an observer. Just notice how it feels in your body. Notice how your breath feels. Is it quick? Is it slow this morning? Notice smells, sounds, and when you're ready, coming back to land on all fours, the tabletop position. Taking a nice deep inhale here and exhale. One more inhale and exhale. And then we'll invite in some balance. So on an inhale, reaching the right arm forward and then bringing the left leg back. And again, as always, you can bring that toes to the ground or you can lift that leg up and find the balance. And when you're ready, landing back down to all fours. And then we take it to the other side. So extending the left arm, right leg. Again, coming to toes or inviting that leg up. And not holding our breath. So continuing with the inhale and the exhale. And then landing back to all fours. Coming back to our first side. Extending your right arm, left leg. Maybe coming up. Connecting to breath. Inhale and exhale. Making sure not to hold on to that breath. And then landing. Other side. Left arm, right leg. And lift. Breathing. And landing. And we'll do it one more time on each side. And I'll offer a new additional challenge this week. So you can stay right in the balance or you can play around with this new challenge. So right arm, left leg. Lift if you choose. And then if you want, see if you can and see what it feels like. And again, just playing around here. What happens if you move your arm and your leg out to the sides? So right arm to the right, left leg to the left. Maybe you get really wobbly and maybe your leg comes down totally fine. Or maybe you just bring the arm out or just the leg, but something to play around with. And coming back to center and landing. And then one more time on our other side. So left arm out, right leg, toes, maybe lift up and maybe try bringing an arm or a leg out to the side. Maybe try both. Or maybe just stay nice and straight. And then when you're done playing around, landing on all fours and pressing back to child's pose. Pressing hips back towards feet. Knees can be as close or as far apart as feels good. 
arms landing in front of you and resting here. Inviting in deep breaths, inhale and exhale. And taking a moment to reflect here. What is one way in which I can be kinder to myself? Maybe reflecting on something this week or even today. What is one way I can invite in greater kindness towards myself? Maybe it's just showing up to practice yoga together today. It's certainly a great example. But reflecting and thinking about way, one way that you can invite in greater kindness for you. And maybe it's not to judge yourself if you fall out of a pose or don't do something as well as you might like today. Instead, instead taking on challenges with grace and without judgment and knowing that it's good to challenge ourselves and that failure and challenges are part of the journey. and are something that we all experience. And returning intentionally to your breath, taking a deep inhale and exhale. One more here, inhale and exhale. And as you're ready, pushing back up into our table position, hands below knees, I mean, <laughs> hands below shoulders, knees below hips. Taking a breath here, inhale and exhale. And then coming to our shoulder opener. So We'll flow two times first and then land on the third time. So inhaling our arm up to the sky, right arm up, reaching tall, and then exhale, threading that arm through the left arm. On an inhale, inviting it back up again, reaching to the sky, exhale, threading through. Again, inhaling, reaching tall, up to the sky. Exhale, threading through. And if it feels comfortable today, landing this time. So landing on your shoulder and your head on your cheek, facing towards the left. And reaching that right arm through as you land. Again, if you're seated, you can always invite that right arm straight across your body grabbing it with the left and giving yourself a big hug. Staying connected as always to the breath, the inhale and the exhale. And then as you're ready on the next inhale, inhaling that arm back up to the sky, reaching tall and landing. And landing here in your table for a moment, taking a nice deep inhale and exhale. And then taking it to our other side. So Inhaling that left arm up to the sky. Exhale, threading it through. 
Inhaling up, reaching towards the sky. Exhale, threading it through. One more time, inhaling up, reaching to the sky. Exhale, threading through and then landing. So landing the shoulder, landing the head. Keeping that right hand next to you. Maybe it reaches up and around. Whatever feels good today and landing here and continuing your breath in this position. Again, if you're seated in the chair, maybe inviting that left arm across your body, giving a nice hug with the right. He stretches the shoulder in a similar way. Nice big hug. Connecting to your breath. And then as you're ready, exhaling that arm up to the sky and then landing. Maybe pushing back one more child's pose, arms come forward, hips towards feet. And coming to rest here in child's just for a moment, maybe taking an active child's pose, really pushing into your palms, having your arms be very active, and staying connected to your breath. The inhale through the nose, and exhale through the nose. And maybe in this moment, you simply reflect on the word kindness. You invite that word in. So as you inhale, just holding the word kind or kindness in your mind's eye, inviting that in as you inhale. And as you exhale, sending it out to the world. And as thoughts come in, just letting them go, letting them float by, not judging, but returning your attention to that word, to the word kind or kindness and inviting that in with your inhale and sending it out with your exhale. And then slowly in your own time, making your way up out of your child's pose, stretching in whatever way feels good and we'll all meet standing at the top of your mat. So coming up to standing, taking your time. Finding your journey there and then landing, standing at the top of our mat. And we begin building our strong, stable mountain pose. So really rooting ourselves through our feet, maybe picking up your feet and landing them at a nice stable distance from each other. Feeling all corners of your feet on the mat. So maybe rolling a little side to side and front to back. So you can really feel all four corners of your feet rooted down. And then start to actively engage your legs. So really hugging in, hugging in your muscles to your bones, really feeling them activate, and then hugging your legs up into your hips. So that everything feels really active. And continue to lengthen through your whole spine, pulling your belly into your spine, really lengthening nice and tall, maybe bringing shoulders up and back. And landing here, noticing how tall and strong you are. Also noticing 
that while we are standing in a very tall, strong position, we're never quite still. There's always slight movement, slight flow. It's like the trees. We are never completely still. And then we'll invite our breath to follow us as we start to flow. So as we do each week, we're going to invite our arms up, inhaling overhead. Then on our exhale, folding forward. Inhale, reaching up. So landing hands on your shins or your thighs, whatever feels good, but having a nice flat back. Your eyes looking down at the ground, just ahead of your mat. Nice flat back, finding that position. Then on your next exhale, folding forward again. Head hanging down. Inhale, reaching up, reaching to the sky. And hands to heart center. And then again, we will repeat this flow. And this time we're gonna invite in just a little extra arm movements at the top of the flow. So inhaling arms up, we'll invite in a little twist here, which is kind of new. So left arm coming forward, right arm coming back, twisting towards the right. So one arm forward, one arm back. And then on the inhale, coming back up to standing tall. And now, of course, we do the other side. So bringing right arm forward, left arm back, or whatever's the opposite of what you just did. Reaching. And then on the inhale, coming back up. And now we continue with the flow. So exhale, folding forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rising tall. Exhale, hands to heart center. And we'll flow that way two more times, following breath. So inhale, coming up, reaching tall. Exhale, left hand forward, right arm straight back. Inhale, back to center. Nice deep inhales and exhales. Exhale, right arm forward, left arm back. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reaching tall, regrowing. Exhale, hands to heart center. Nice deep inhale and exhale here, and then we'll do the flow one more time. Together, inhaling up, exhale, twisting, left arm forward, right arm back. Inhale up, twist in the opposite direction. Inhale up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale to flat back. Exhale to forward fold. Inhale reaching high. Exhale hands to heart center. Landing here. Checking in with your breath and just scanning your body, noticing. How do you feel? Nice deep inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. And one more inhale and exhale. And now releasing our hands Rooting strongly again, maybe bringing hands to hips and we'll come into our warrior series. So to start stepping back 
with the right foot. Remember, back foot is at an angle. Your two feet are not in a single line, but are, there's some space between them. So back foot is at a slight angle, building up this pose. Front foot, toes are facing forward. Setting yourself up. Again, hands on hips, both hips facing forward, and then bending that front knee. So setting up for warrior one. So as you're here, raising your hands, nice and strong, warrior one. Connecting with your breath, never holding on to breath here, using our breath to strengthen us. The inhale and the exhale. And then opening up to warrior two. So now hips come to face the side. Back arm is back straight out of your shoulder. Front arm is coming forward. Taking a peek back, making sure that back arm is in a nice straight line. Front arm facing forward. Then your eyes are looking over the middle finger of the front hand. Then on an inhale, flipping that front palm, dropping your back hand, and we reverse our warrior. Again, keeping very straight, strong back leg and a bend in the front leg. And if ever feels like too much throughout these, you can always straighten the front leg and come back in. Reaching back. Then on your inhale, inhaling yourself back to your warrior one. Again, nice and strong. Back arm straight coming out, front arm straight ahead. Eyes over that front middle finger. And then side angle. So bringing your forearm to your thigh, inhaling that top arm up over your ear. You have a nice long line from that arm through that back leg. You can stay right here on the forearm or you can always try coming to a block or to the ground with your fingers. It's perfectly okay to stay right on that forearm on the thigh as well. And connecting to your breath, never holding on to it, always returning to the inhale, the exhale, especially as it gets challenging and then inhaling up Back to our warrior two, nice and strong. Deep inhale and exhale. And then maybe dropping hands to hips and stepping your way back to the top of the mat. Landing in your mountain pose, noticing, perhaps inviting your eyes to close for a moment and just scanning your body, notice how you feel. Maybe one side feels a little different than the other, a little out of balance, since we've only done one side so far. Notice your breath. Notice if it's rapid or slow, deep or shallow. Again, no judgment, just noticing, taking in the data. Tuning in to our bodies and our breath. And then as you're ready, opening the eyes and inviting the pose to our other side. So perhaps bringing our hands to our hips, we step back with the left leg. Again, setting ourselves up, back leg at a slight foot at a slight angle, front toes facing forward, making sure you have a little space between your feet so you have more stability then facing both hips forward, bending the front leg, inviting our arms up, warrior one. Attention back to the breath, the inhale and the exhale. Again, inhale and exhale. Then on an inhale, opening up to warrior two. So 
back arm goes back, front arm goes forward. Trying to get those arms in a nice straight line. Luckily I have this nice straight fence right behind me that I can gauge how straight my arms are. But just sense it, try to feel it, feel into your body and see if you can notice how straight they feel, your arms feel. And then take a look, glance back at that back arm, glance forward at that front arm, and then have your eyes focused on that middle front finger. Again, hips out to the side, nice and strong, warrior two. Landing in the breath, the inhale and the exhale. Then on the next inhale, flipping that front palm, dropping your back arm, reversing our warrior. Breathing the inhale, exhale, and then inhaling your arms back up, warrior two. And then inviting in your side angle. So bringing that forearm to your front thigh, inviting your top arm up over the ear. Again, you can try coming to a block or the floor on your fingers or staying right here. Staying connected to the breath, the inhale and the exhale. And then on an inhale, pulling yourself back up, warrior two. Inhale and the exhale. One more time here, inhale and exhale. Hands to hips and stepping back up to the front of your mat. Hands to side, coming to your mountain pose, nice and tall. Again, if it feels comfortable, maybe inviting your eyes to close for a moment. Scanning your body, noticing how you feel. Notice how you feel physically, how your breath feels. Notice your strength. That is a strong, challenging series. And you are all, we are all strong beings. Inhaling together and exhale. And now we'll invite in our balancing pose. So again, staying firmly rooted, strongly rooted through our feet, nice and tall. We root through the left leg and invite lightness through the right. So coming into our tree pose, and that tree pose can be kickstand, can be coming to the lower leg, reaching down, coming to the upper leg, whatever feels good for today. Biting hands to heart center once you land there. Maybe noticing what it feels like to be active through that right foot. So not just standing tall, but pushing into that left leg with the right foot and pushing back with the left leg. Maybe growing your tree nice and tall. Breathing here, inhale and the exhale. Remember, we're never completely still. We're always moving. Again, inhale and exhale. Hands through heart center and release. Landing here for a moment. Nice and tall, strong. And then focusing your attention to that right foot, grounding through the right leg, inviting lightness into the left. So landing that left foot wherever it's going to land today. 
Inhaling hands to heart center. Deep inhale and exhale. Maybe growing that tree, arms coming up overhead. Inhale and exhale. One more inhale and exhale. And then coming through heart center and releasing. Landing here for a moment, an inhale and an exhale. And then as you're ready, making your way to the mat, to the seated position in your chair mat, you're on the mat having your feet out in front of you and we're going to come to our forward fold so again you can use a blanket or a towel or a belt to strap around your feet to help support you in this you can also do a supported pose by stacking up pillows on each other and coming forward to lean on that or you can just come forward with hands anywhere on your legs or on the mat beside you the key here is to lead with a straight back. So sitting nice and tall as you get ready to come into the pose and then coming forward with the chest. So as always, you may not come forward very far at all, but leading with that flat back and, and chest forward is the most important piece. So it, it's much more important to come forward with the chest than to get further down by bending your back. So. If it feels comfortable, inviting your eyes to close, allowing yourself to release into the pose, and just folding forward to whatever that forward fold looks like for you today. The most important thing is connecting to your breath. So intentionally bringing focus to the inhale and the exhale, the inhale, and exhale. And finding that connection on your own. And then as you're ready, dropping your head, rolling up to seated, one vertebra at a time, maybe giving your legs a little wiggle, and taking your time to come to a lying down position on your mat. So coming to lie on the mat. Both feet planted on the mat, knees pointed up. And then as you're ready, inviting that right ankle over left thigh. And you can land here and rest here with your foot on the ground. Or you can invite your hands to wrap around that left thigh, pulling both your legs in towards your chest, both feet flexed. And landing here, closing your eyes if that feels comfortable. Or just having a loose gaze, focusing on nothing in particular. And intentionally connecting with your breath.
And then as you're ready, hugging both knees into the chest, maybe a little rocking back and forth or circles with the knees. And then landing both feet on the mat, knees to the ceiling, and taking the pose to the other side. So bringing the left ankle over the right thigh. Maybe inviting hands around that right thigh and pulling both legs towards your body, both feet flexed. And just being present here in your breath. Inhale and exhale. And as you're ready, hugging both knees in, maybe a little rock. And from here, we'll bring both hands out like a T and drop both knees over to the right side. And you may need to move your hips a little bit to the left and then bring your knees over. That may feel better. You could also take blocks or pillows or a bolster and put them right under your knees as they fall to the side. But both knees in the same direction and your arms out to the sides in a T position. So coming straight out from your shoulders. And if you wanna come into this twist just a little bit more, turning your head in the opposite direction of your knees. So bringing your eyes to face in the opposite direction of your knees. But if that is a little too intense, just keep your gaze in the same direction as your knees. And landing here. And on an inhale, hugging your knees back into your chest, scooching your hips back to center if you move them, giving yourself a nice hug, and then taking it to the other direction. So dropping both knees to the left, you might want to just scoot your hips over to the right a little bit and then bring them over. Again, you can Stack pillows or blankets or blocks under your knees. Both arms come out in a T position. And your eyes can either be in the same direction as your knees or coming over the opposite shoulder. As always, rooting yourself in your breath. And then as you're ready, on an inhale, hugging your knees back into center, recentering hips, giving those knees a big hug. And then we'll come to our inversion. So again, you can put a couple blocks under your hips or pillows, blankets under your hips, or you can just keep your hips right on the ground. But we're gonna invite our feet up to the sky. This is called waterfall pose. And just landing here, either again with props under your hips or not. And you can have your eyes closed if that feels comfortable. 
just shutting off that sense and allowing your body to find relaxation here. Staying connected to the breath, the inhale and the exhale. And then as we're ready, hugging our knees back into chest, rocking a little bit, maybe taking any stretch you need, perhaps a nice full body stretch, feet going out, arms going overhead, nice big stretch. And from here, we'll come to our relaxation position. So you can come to lying on a flat position on your back, or if you want to, you can come to the heart opening restorative pose that we've done in past weeks where you stack up your bolsters or pillows and rolled up blankets, whatever you have behind you, pull them into your hips. And again, I don't have any here today, but pulling that bolster, that stack of pillows into your hips, coming down onto that, and then having arms out to, to the side. So you have a bit of a heart opener because you have that stack behind you. Or you can come to lying right on the ground, legs out straight, feet kind of just falling open, hands reaching up, palms up, arms out to the side, allowing your body to relax into that bolster, or into your mat, or into whatever relaxing position that you find yourself into. Finding yourself there. And again, reflecting back to your own self-compassion, having kindness and grace towards yourself, connecting through our common humanity, and rooting in this mindfulness practice that we share today. And we'll end in a loving kindness meditation or meta practice. So keeping your eyes closed if they're closed, think of a person close to you who loves you very much. It could be someone from the past or present. It could be a spiritual teacher or guide. Imagine that person standing on your right side, sending you their love. That person is sending you wishes for your safety, for your well being, and for your happiness. Feel the warm wishes and love coming from that person towards you. Now bring to mind that same person or another person who cherishes you deeply. Imagine that person standing on your left side, sending you wishes for your wellness, for your health, and for your happiness. Feel the kindness and warmth coming to you from that person. Now imagine that you are surrounded on all sides by all the people who love you, and have loved you. Picture all of your friends and loved ones surrounding you. They are standing, sending you wishes for your happiness, your well being, and health. Bask in the warm wishes and love coming from all sides. You are filled and you are overflowing with warmth and love. Now bring your awareness back to the person standing on your right. 
begin to send the love that you feel back to that person. You and this person are similar. Just like you, this person wishes to be happy. Send all of your love and warm wishes to this person. Repeat the following phrases silently. May you live with ease. May you be happy. May you be free from pain. Now focus your awareness on the person standing to your left side. Begin to direct the love within you to that person. Send all of your love and warmth to that person. That person and you are alike. Just like you, that person wishes to have a good life. Repeat the following phrases silently. Just as I wish to, may you be safe, may you be healthy, may you live with ease and happiness. Now expand your awareness and picture the whole globe in front of you as a little ball. Send warm wishes to all living beings, all beings on the globe who like you want to be happy. Just as I wish to be, may you live with ease, happiness and good health. And finally, invite your attention back to self, to you, and reflect on that, the kindness and the grace that you have offered yourself today. Hold that grace and kindness and repeat the phrases for yourself. May I live with ease. May I live with happiness. May I have good health. Again, one more time reflecting for yourself. May I live with ease. May I find happiness. May I live in good health. And as you close this practice, reflect on how you are feeling in this moment, how it feels to invite in that kindness, to hold that grace for yourself. And as you're ready, invite in more intentional breath, deeper inhale and exhale. Deep inhale, maybe opening your mouth and allowing a nice deep release in your exhale. <sighs> One more time in that way, inhaling through the nose, filling belly, filling chest, opening mouth and a nice exhale sigh. <sighs> and keeping your intention on your breath making your way back to seated, rolling to the side and pulling out any props if you are using any. If you're lying on your back, perhaps rolling to your side and resting there a moment before making your way back to our seated position where we began. Coming together as we started, seated nice and tall. Inviting hands to heart center. Taking a moment to 
perhaps consider being intentional throughout this whole day about bringing kindness to self and holding grace for ourselves. Can we do that throughout the entire day today? Can we be intentional about that? And when we slip, can we also return with grace? Thank you all for joining me here today for our connection. We will close practice with two breaths together. Inhaling, filling belly, filling chest. Exhale. And one more together, inhale and exhale. Thank you to each of you. Have a wonderful day. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.